Oh, Sunday afternoon, about one o'clock, and it's still pouring. It's just never stopped chucking it for days, and it's supposed to rain for the rest of the week coming up. So not going to be getting much done outside. But what I was doing today was some collars for my zucchinis and things that are going outside. So I'm just cutting the bottoms off some old pots. And we're going to wrap some tape, copper tape around the tops of them. And then that will fit over top of the zucchinis outside, zucchini courgettes. Um, outside to keep hopefully the slugs off them and also to keep the water from around a water on the outside sorry water on the outside of the pot when it's outside so it'll be like a, a cheap man's halo poor man's halo not a cheap man's halo poor man's halo um, the water can go on the outside and then it won't soak the stems too much and cause rot so that's the idea now, chances are I won't do that for another day or so, but I will show you when they're in place because I'm waiting until it's not soaking wet because I've already had to change my coat twice. So just a quick shot of what they're hopefully gonna look like. That's the copper tape. That's a hollow bottomed pot. And they need pushing down a little bit further, but it's pouring rain again and I don't want my phone to get wet. So, I will uh, fix them later. They're okay now as long as the leaves are in there. And tomatoes are doing fine. Getting new leaves on them, new shoots on them. All good. Everybody's happy. Okay, we're doing this on a cold Monday afternoon before all the white butterflies come. Um, so this will go across here and then the net's going to go all the way around it and I will show you, Gerald doesn't like being on camera, so I'll show you pictures when we've got some of the netting on. Okay, mostly finished. Um, putting all the netting on, it needs to be reinforced, so all of this reinforcing will go all the way around. And then we just have to figure out what we're going to do with the top part because I can't put anything solid or permanent on it because the structure is not strong enough to hold it. Um, but also it will cave in if it gets snow on netting. So because we had that problem last year when we got snow. So for now, it um, will have the temporary net just sat back on top of it again. And then I'll get a little door put at this side. And then it's just in and do your weeding, do your slug control, whatever, and then close the door again. And the back side's just closed off for now. It's a work in progress, as we always say in this yard. Everything's a work in progress because Princess changes her mind on a regular basis. So that's it for today, Monday. Um, those purple pelleted marigolds, the dwarf varieties I did the other day, have already come up. So they work really well. Excellent. Okay, well, apart from the roof, which we haven't figured out what we're going to do with the roof yet, all of the outsides encased and closed and secure. I'm going to give it a bit of a stain, though, so it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. And I harvested in danger of spring onions. Aren't they gorgeous? Those are overwintered. They were in the yard all winter. Other than that, it's cloudy today. We're supposed to be getting a storm and somebody whispered the word snow. So I will tuck in my tomatoes and my cucumbers in this bed over here um, with some fleece because they're probably not going to be too happy with the weather. Update on the inside tomatoes. They're doing great. They don't mind the weather at all. Carrots are doing quite well, getting big. And this is, it's supposed to be a Fioretto cauliflower, which is like a, not, I guess in England you look at them like nine star broccolis. Um, but these ones, <laughs> they're not looking so quite so, oh, maybe that one is. They're, they have spears, not heads for cauliflowers. So hopefully those will be okay. Lettuce in hanging baskets is doing well, needs a bit of a water. Kale needs harvesting. We've harvested from this several times and we still have to harvest again. And these are all spare items. And 
aubergines eggplants are doing really good so far they've got little tiny flowers or they will have sorry if it can focus there we go focus in on the little flowers so we'll see we've given the cucumbers a hat to wear keep them out of the wind hopefully keep them out of the cold and in the next couple of days that should be it we shouldn't be getting any more cold weather blueberries are doing fine strawberries have got little flowers the ones on the patio are just doing like redonkulous there's a million little baby shoots coming off them which i'll probably cut off because they're first year pineapple strawberries other than that oh i might have wanted to show you my carrots i thinned them out now when i said you don't need to thin out carrot tape i didn't mean not at all they do need a little bit of thinning but it's like one every other carrot that needs taking out so these ones are doing really good radishes over there and a new row of carrots see that's what they look like before you thin them out so they do get close together just not humongously close together no oh, all good raspberries going a great great guns yep. it's funny how you can put shard right next to beans and nobody seems to eat the shard but they are munching on some of my bean plants um, luckily I've got spares, but yeah, not, not much of a bite anywhere on the shard, which we're probably not going to grow shard again next year because we just don't like it as much as the soft kales, like the winter blend kales and the Kalmatsuna greens. So we won't do them again. So when I was watching Ian at Ian's Allotment Diaries. Um, he was doing some bush beans and I realized that all of my beans are all pole beans. So I've got some spots that I can under sow with other things. So I'm going to do six um, bush bean blue lake and six bush bean royal burgundies. But I'm not going to show you me doing that because you've seen everybody else do them. So it's going to start pouring rain soon as you can see by the black clouds overhead. So I will just do these and just post them and show you when maybe I'm planting them out in a week or so. Bye. Okay, got corn. Seems to be doing okay still. No slug damage yet, knock on wood. These are my purple. No, not purple, yellow peas. Now then, they are a good four foot tall and getting bigger. I have to put some more string on them today. And these are my multi-sown beets. See what I mean, Carl? You just pick them out by uh, the leaves or you can pick them for baby beets, but they're all mixed. So there's red beets, chogyas, which are the ones that look like bullseyes and golden beets and they're all along here in amongst the asparagus big tall asparaguses that are going to seed frond already which is fine some flowers pollinators like yep. more asparagus New Zealand spinach, which I'm not thrilled with in the least. It's just not doing anything. It's not growing. It's not dying. It's just what whatever. And I think I need to put some fertilizer in here because the leaves on my cabbages or cauliflowers, I think they are, are going yellow. Um, and these are my sprouts. Oops. Let's see if I can lift the net up for you. This net's only a temporary one. So... <laughs> That's a really bad angle, isn't it? Yeah. Sprouts, there we go. Sprouts. In there, Brussels sprouts. And then, that's it, I think. Shard, beans, shard, beans. Okay, it's Thursday morning. The 19th of May. It's supposed to be nice after today, so I bit the bullet and put my zucchinis out, my courgettes. They're yellow courgettes, and they're in there, 
Now those are the slug bands I've put around the pots. Those pots have got no bottoms in them. I cut the bottoms out. And we've put them in there and they should be okay in there with their little halo around them and their plastic bottles on top just for now. And then next week we're supposed to start getting normal weather so it should be warmer. So hopefully that will be the case. Um, those are D. So those peas, which I keep telling people are the yellow peas, they are number D. So I just have to go and look and see what the list says they are. Uh, D would be, I walk a bit faster probably. You don't want to see me walking around like a bonehead. D are, they're called snow Kurobi, C-U-R-O-U-B-Y. So they're a snow pea. So that's what those things are. Zucchinis are, there are zucchinis. Zinnias are desperate to get out, as are my tall marigolds and my cosmos. They need to get outside. So I might put a few of them in today. And my sunflower seeds, my sunflowers. Everything had to come back in here, so we're super crowded again because of the windstorms we had. But it's all supposedly settling down now and going back to more seasonal weather, hopefully. So I will probably post all of this up now because I don't really have a lot else to show you. So there's no point in waiting much more. The tomatoes are still tucked in until after today. And then hopefully they'll be okay once, like I said, this day passes. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.